The Power Lift by MLCS Woodworking. This video is a product tour of the greatest innovation in table mounted routing. The Power Lift has features no other router lift has and guarantees to change the way you work with your table mounted router. The control box mounts conveniently to your router table and puts all the functions of the lift right at your fingertips. The precision lift can be adjusted in increments as small as 5 one thousandths of an inch. The lift can also be activated using the bi-directional foot switch for hands-free operation. The power lift's control panel allows you to adjust all aspects of the lift, including the speed. The faster speed is good for raising your router up to change the bit. Power lift will raise your router all the way up so you can get a set of wrenches on there, change your bit, and then lower it back down in a matter of seconds. When making small changes to the bit height, a slow speed is more accurate. You can see here that I'm moving the lift just a few thousandths of an inch at a time. Precision is amazing. Power lift has an integrated depth stop. You can set the max height that the bit can protrude above the table. This is especially useful for repeatable cuts like mortising. You just set the max depth stop and then the lift will return to that point and automatically stop each time. The power lift supports most 3.5 inch diameter router motors. It's really easy to get your router mounted into the lift. You just loosen both the clamps slide your router up in there and then tighten the upper and lower clamp and you're ready to go. There's no tools required and you can get your router in and out in a matter of seconds. The power lift can be activated using the sturdy metal foot switch. It's bi-directional. Push on the front part of the pedal to have the lift go up and the back part of the pedal to bring the lift down. The foot pedal is what makes the power lift really unique. You can bring the spinning bit up into the work while keeping both hands on the workpiece. This is very suitable for mortising. Here's a jig that controls the movement of the wood back and forth on the top of the router table while the foot pedal brings the router bit up into the work to create the perfect mortise for loose tenon joinery. Having the ability to bring the spinning bit up into the workpiece opens up a lot of operations that weren't very practical on the router table in the past and were normally reserved for plunge routers. Here's a simple jig that locks a pivot point at a fixed location in the miter track. This will become the center for my circle. After securing the blank, I begin to turn the workpiece while bringing the spinning bit up into the work by using the foot pedal and gradually the bit will come all the way through the workpiece and the circle is cut. Perfect circles every time. Using an off-center pivot point you can create an arch in the top of a panel like this one for use in frame and panel construction. It's easy to create a gentle curve in the end of this board by using that fixed pivot point. Just take incremental passes Gradually raise the router bit up to full height and cut the gentle curve. The fixed pivot point that locks in the miter track is for cutting larger circles. If you have a need to cut medium or small circles, a jig like this will get the pivot point closer to the router bit. It's the same concept, taking multiple passes, just bring the router bit up into the work, rotate the work and you can cut a perfect circle every time. Creating a stop dado on a traditional router table involves putting the workpiece down onto the spinning bit. Well here I'm just using two marks indicated on the fence where to start the dado and where to end the dado. So I'll start the router, bring the router bit up into the work advance the board 
and stop when I get to my indicator line. You can cut a perfect stop dado using this method without the hazard of putting your workpiece down onto the spinning bit. Most router bits aren't designed to cut the full profile in a single pass. That's where the power lift really shines. You can use the depth stop to set the max depth that the router bit should protrude above the table and then lower it back down before making your first cut. In between passes, without shutting down your router, you can raise the router bit slightly by using the foot pedal. And you don't have to worry about bringing the bit up too far because it will automatically stop where you've set the depth stop. Your final pass will leave a nice smooth finish on the wood because you're just taking a small amount off. Taking incremental passes has never been so easy. The power lift is the world's first foot activated motorized router lift. It's guaranteed to change the way you work on your router table, increasing your capability, efficiency, and safety. If you'd like to find out more about the greatest revolution in table-mounted routing, visit mlcswoodworking.com.